Hi, I'm David O'Keefe, and I'm the author of One Day in August, The Untold Story Behind Canada's Tragedy at Dieppe. Uh, one Day in August is about the Dieppe operation, which is one of the most controversial operations of the entire Second World War and one of the greatest mysteries in all of Canadian history. In less than six hours, 907 Canadians were killed in battle. And of course, this reverberated right across the country because these were men from all corners of Canada, from both coasts and regiments right across, uh, right across the nation. And, you know, for many years, this really permeated our understanding of the Second World War. This was our seminal moment in the Second World War. The Dieppe operation and its results became an albatross in Canadian history. It was something that has hung around our necks for many years. And part of it has to do with a fundamental misunderstanding of what the intent of the operation was about. There were so many veiled references that were, you know, given at the time, or veiled excuses. Uh, but nothing really, um, you know, bore out over those years until finally, over the last 15 years, new material has been released that originally was you know, classified as ultra secret. And that has given us a whole new interpretation of what happened in, on August 19th, 1942. The approach that I, I took for this was um, truly unconventional, I suppose, as a historian. Um, one of the things that I think was important was not simply to write this for the handful of other experts on Dieppe that are out there, but because this was so important to the Canadian public in general, I had to be able to figure out a form that would reach everybody. And I think part of it was the unfolding narrative, in other words, kind of like peeling the onion, where it was one layer after another. So in other words, you turn the unraveling of a mystery into a mystery itself. And the other thing which I wasn't really sure about at the time and I really took a leap was actually putting myself in there. In other words, when you read this book, you follow my journey as the historian as well, unraveling this incredible Canadian mystery. When I started on this journey, it all started actually with one document that linked one of the greatest secrets of the Second World War to our greatest national tragedy and one of our greatest mysteries. And from there, it was really like a, a jigsaw puzzle and putting all the pieces together. And at first, I was you know, really swept away by the, the contemporary you know, excuses that we've had, but none of them really made sense. So this document, which actually linked Dieppe and cryptography, was really remarkable to start with. The question was just how far you know, could I go with this? How far would it take me? And over the next 15 years, eventually the mystery unraveled. I think one thing that the research does is really recast our focus about Dieppe. I mean, for so many years, you know, Canadians have worn the albatross around their neck for the failure of this operation. And not to say that the research, the new research changes that completely, but it certainly recasts our understanding of the intent um, unlike anything else. Certainly we can see now that there was a larger picture or a larger role that Canada was playing in this operation, particularly when it came into British geostrategic policy. So that is something now that needs to be assessed. And I think one of the great strengths of the research in the book is it not only puts a lot of the old Dieppe myths to rest, but it really kicks open the door for a whole new generation of historians to really jump into the breach and see where the story will lead us in the future. When I sat down with the various veterans that I interviewed for the book, um, I was struck by the immense frustration, even to this day, seven day, 70 years later, over what Dieppe was all about. And it was amazing to sit down and take them through the research and then to see the reaction at the end, once they started seeing all the pieces fall into place, um, to see the, them literally transform before your eyes and a sense of profound relief. And there was one in particular, Ron Beale, who had landed at Blue Beach. He was about 20 years old. He landed there, watched his regiment be ripped apart right in front of his eyes, his friends, and then he spent two and a half years in a prisoner of war camp before coming back and spending really the next 70 years trying to figure out why. And after taking him through everything, um, he processed it, and then he finally just put out his hand and he said, look, thank you. Now I know why my friends died, and now I can die in peace. And that was something as a historian you never expect to hear. And it just, it, it reaffirmed my belief in the power of history and just how important Dieppe is, not only to the veterans, but also to Canadians. 
I'm David O'Keefe, and I'm the author of One Day in August, The Untold Story of Canada's Tragedy at Dieppe.